a literal model right now with like my hair blowing and stuff. Like, do you guys get the vibe? Red bud. Can somebody let me know in the comments if like Red Bull is really that bad for you? Like if I should really stop drinking it? Or if like it's just a little bad and like it won't have too much of a long lasting effects. Y'all let me know. But anyways, as you guys know by the title of this video, we're doing something really fun. And I have some exciting news, okay? So wait for that. But I'm going to be trying drugstore makeup in Mexico. I have not tried any drugstore makeup or like any makeup at all in Mexico. Like any Mexican brands. Actually, I'm lying to y'all. I just lied to y'all, but like forgive me because a bitch has no memory. Like I'm not okay. I did try one Mexican mascara. It was like the hella popular apple mascara. Yeah, manzana. Y'all know which one I'm talking about, right? And it like went viral and stuff. And I got it and I did not like it. I don't know if I got like the wrong one. Cause you know like one mascara brand can have like different types. And someone told me that they also have different types of wands. So I'm pretty sure I got the wrong one. Today I'm planning to buy pure Mexican brand stuff. And I'm probably gonna get a cool couple of those mascaras. And I'm just really excited so. I look so cute right now. Aww. Like I look like a little model. Like that's just so crazy. Like I'm a bad bitch. My boyfriend's so blessed. Like he don't even know. So I posted on my spam, guys. Not me being an iPad kid. I love my iPad, though. Anyways, I posted on my spam that I'm going to be doing this video. And I asked for, like, any brands that you guys know that you guys specifically want me to buy. And this was the main comments. Bisu, Beauty Creations. They said Bisu eye powders and blushes are amazing. So I'm really excited. I'm going to see if I can find those. Apple Mascara. Araceli Beauty. And everybody's seen the Apple Mascara. That's what I'm saying. Like, Avocado Mascara. Okay, switching it up. Bisu y... Italia, that's another one. Farmacy brand, Rosa mascara. So I got some good recommendations, so I'm definitely gonna try stuff from all the brands that people said. And I'm also gonna give the Apple mascara one more try. One more damn try. That is so good, bro. Like, I know it's like pure chemicals, but like those chemicals just be so damn good. Anyway, so today I plan on going to Farmacia Guadalajara. There's another Farmacia like Zappo something, I forgot what it's called. But there's mainly just Farmacia Guadalajara here. So I'm gonna go to all the Farmacias that I can. I think I'm gonna go to Kiosco and also, I don't know if there's makeup there, but I just wanna see because I just wanna see, like let's just check it out. And then also I'm gonna go to the mall cause there's like these little makeup stand brands. They're like little makeup shops. Ooh, I need to go downtown. That's where I need to go. That's where I'm gonna find the makeup. It's gonna be a fun video. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Also, guys, I'm planning to start taking a different route with my YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys have been realizing, but like the last cool couple months, like I've been doing more lifestyle wellness type stuff, like days in my life. I have so bad memory. Let me go look it up. I'm really scared for the future, guys. Let me know if I could do some like brain activities or something. Like send me some games, like bro, Sudoku. I don't know, but my memory is so horrible and I'm only 21 years old. The hell? Attempting to get my life together, chit chat, day in my life. Yeah, I've just been doing a lot of like day in my life, week in my life. Like, I feel like the titles are so boring and like I'm just doing the same thing every time. Like, let me know how y'all feel in the comments, but I'm trying to switch things up. I'm tired of being lazy. Like, the reason I started doing those videos is because like it's easier for me because I don't have to think of like a good video plan. You know what I mean? I'm just lazy as. And like when I first moved here guys, I was so scared to go out and just do new things. And I've already been here a year and a half. Like I'm ready to get the hell out, go do some new stuff, go to some bailes. Like I'm 21 years old. There's no reason for me to be staying in the damn house. You know what I mean? But also it's fun to stay in the house. Like I like to be a homebody and like somebody who goes out. Not specifically going out to parties. I like to just discover new things. You know what I mean? That's all what life's about. But then being at home does feel good too. Like sometimes you need the stability, you know what I mean? Like get back on track, go to the gym, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Relax, read a damn book. But yeah, I just want my content to be more, ignore that damn fly. So damn embarrassing. I just want my content to be more interesting for you guys and show more of the life here in Mexico. The beauty of it, you know what I mean? I just want to get more creative with it. So it's going to be real fun from here on. <laughs> Should I tell you guys my next video idea? I think I should. I believe my next video, I'm gonna do dressing like a fresa for a week. I'm really excited for that one because you guys know I don't dress like that. Like this is gonna be something completely new for me. Okay, damn, okay. And then I'm gonna have like Michael's family like get the reaction and have them rate my outfit and stuff. And it's just gonna be so weird because, like does this look like a fresa to you guys? No, it looks like a bad. 
Let me show you guys my outfit though, and then we're gonna leave. And also guys, look at my chunkless. My dog bit these up. Like I got these so new. I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back, I bought these in the central. <laughs> And literally the next day my dog bit them up. But I'm still gonna wear them because like bro, they're new. They still serve the purpose, you know what I mean? Like I can still walk in them. So what's the issue? I think I have too much energy. And I think it's time to get on with the damn video. Leave a comment and a like and a subscribe guys because it helps me so much with the algorithm. And if you guys aren't subscribed, what are you doing? And if you don't have to post notifications on, I don't mean to threaten you. I did not mean to put the gun at you, but if you don't have the post notifications on, what are you doing? You're missing out. You're missing out, babes. Top best content in YouTube. That's what you're missing out on. We have a very special guest in today's video. Let me know who y'all think it is. Una, dos. Oh boy. <laughs> it's haircut day, so y'all know. He got Ooh. a fresh fade. It's not a fade. It's cut. Hmm, my teeth look. Damn it. Give me a little bit further. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, you know, I'm security in this vlog today. No, he's being cameraman today. Oh. Security? Yeah, Just like, in case anybody try to play some games or what? You know, Just in case anybody try to snatch my camera. No, like, people always try to play games with Alexis, but like, when they see me, they get scared. They're like, Facts. Because he's like eight feet tall, y'all. And like big, so big and muscular. Yeah, like, look at these muscles. Touch him. Don't get hurt, though. Don't get hurt. Boom! Yeah, yeah, don't play with it. She got me tearing up. It's just so strong. Tearing up. You know, I pull up in the club with the... Ring her up. Hey, three-pointer in the club like a... Like a layer up. I don't know if I'm... Oh, layer up. That's crazy, babe. You're a for real artist. I don't know if I'm crying because that was so ass. You know, you can say it was ass, but there ain't nothing compared to the grass I smoke. Yeah, yeah, but don't try to poke fun at me. Babe, babe, please. <laughs> Get some flow, then you could come over here and do your little show. But right now, it ain't happening because you're real slow. Mm. Oh! Wait, I'm not gonna let you talk to me like that until you grow. You short as hell, like a gnome. No! You're welcome. I was gonna say that, but I was giving suspense. Like, come no, on. Like, okay. you don't know about this. Can we speak about how good I look today? This is like the first time I've done my makeup and got ready facts, in a minute. Facts, facts. She normally doesn't shower like in three days and stuff like that, but today she did it! And that's an <laughs> accomplishment. Leave down in the comments below. It's Mexi Lexi showered. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna get on you because I'm a good hearted. Person. On me on what? I smell on that steak booty! I smell like Balenciaga, Louis V, Gucci all together. We'll see y'all on the prairie. We're about to go to a Farmacia Guadalajara right now. I never need to go to a pharmacy because I never get sick. The only thing sick about me is my flow, you know? Uh. Alright guys, we'll see y'all later. Prince Charles III. You know what they call me in the street? Figulous, bugless, chuckless, muggless. Is that funny? No. Anyways, guys, so we arrived to Farmacia Guadalajara, our first stop, and let's see what we can find, shall we? Dance, dance for the camera, dance for the camera. Right there. Okay, y'all, so they don't have really a big makeup section here. This is all they have. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. See, yes. No, it's over see, here. It so there's only like three mascaras and like that's it. So they have this one, miradas, this one the almendras, y estos. That one looks pretty good, huh? Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna get these two. The farmacias here don't really have a big makeup selection, so we're probably gonna go to Walmart or some other place. Okay, y'all, so we made our first purchase. This one was 20 pesos. 20 pesos. One dollar. One dollar. And this one was 50 pesos. I'm gonna put the whole total of everything at the end. As you guys can tell, like the Baramasias here, they do not have a lot of options. It's not like CVS and like Walgreens in the US. Like they have so much makeup, it's not like that. Y después vamos a ir a la plaza. We're gonna go to the mall to go look at these other little tienditas de maquillaje. You could go walk home, I'll drive. Men. I forgot it's so weekend, so everybody and their mom about to be here, but Nimolo, I'm getting rid of my social anxiety this year. Honestly, I feel like moving to Mexico has really helped my social anxiety because like my anxiety switched over to like me having to learn a second language, you know what I mean? 
and like be comfortable with messing up my second language in front of people and making myself look dumb. So now I don't really focus too much on my social anxiety, especially when I go to the US. Like I feel like I'm way more open and I just be doing stuff not even thinking about. Like doing stuff that I wouldn't have done before, you know what I mean? All right guys, so that's the store we're gonna go to. Se llama Bellissima. over there. I don't know if there's no air conditioning up here, but it smells like straight ass. It's so hot. They have mix over here. Yo, she is scared as hell, bro. You can't even like comprehend how socially awkward she is. <laughs> guys, I'm sweating. I do not want to talk. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm talking super low. She is very talking low. If you don't understand, then keep out of the flow because you know we come up with the big blows. You guys, so there's these little brushes from Beauty Creation. Somebody told me about this brand. Let me know if I should get it. Y'all put it in the comments. It's a donut. Get you. I don't know if these brands are in the US. Chocolate. It's chocolate? You need it? Okay, y'all. Yeah. So, unfortunately, they told us we couldn't record. Like, what, what the hell? But we're still able to get our stuff. I think we'll show y'all where it's more comfortable at home because right now we're like in the corner of this other store, just hiding. <laughs> but I think I want to go to one more store in here and then we're probably going to go to the Centro because I want to find Maracas Mexicanas, like Mexican brands. And a lot of these they have in the US. Like they had LA Girl, Milani. I honestly don't know what Mexican brands she's trying to look for. I don't know why he thinks he would know. Why would you know about makeup here? I used to have a lot of female friends. Okay, y'all, we're about to go to this store called Zola. I'll go see. And I seen they had some makeup right here. So we're just gonna look at it. Hopefully, it's a Mexican brand. Pink up, so they say. Pink up. Guys, I found the brand Apple. I found the Bisu brand, guys. I'm gonna try this out. Okay, y'all, uh, so we just got back from the mall. We were there a minute and we're literally dying of hunger. We weren't there a minute, we were there like for two hours. I'm just a funny person because you know I got the... <laughs> Whatever. Make a rapping channel at this point. Make a rapping channel. You get rapping at the worst times. Like if I get to rapping, then you could get to rapping. If I get to rapping, you know I start rapping, and you know I start ripping. If I get ripping. to rapping and capping, you know I'm stacking. Anyways, guys, so this is the bag of makeup I got. We went to two stores, and the other store didn't have bags, so I just put everything in here. But y'all, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this <laughs> is full to the brim. The second store we ended up going to had so many Mexican brands. I was so upset because, like, we should have went there first. And you know what's funny? I told her about that place first, and she's like, no, 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 there's another Wait. place up here. How do you know about that place? Because it's right there. It's always been there in that mall. And like everybody knows that place in Mexico. <laughs> Look at him getting all nervous. I'm not nervous at all. I'm not shaking at all. Because I, I actually forgot like concealer and foundation. It's like the main thing, my boy. But I think we're gonna go to the Centro and I'm just gonna get concealer and foundation and we're gonna dip um, because I know for sure they have Mexican brands up in there. But I'm really excited what I got, guys. But I'm gonna just give you guys a sneak peek. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this influencer. She always comes on my For You page. Oh yeah, I know her. She stay on live, Yeti MUA. So I got her like eyeshadow palette. So that was really funny that I seen this because I'm like, influencer, Mexican influencer? Like I need a cop. Cop so, or drop? Cop. <laughs> so we're about to go eat because we're really hungry right now. We also got some other stuff from the mall. I'm gonna do like a whole haul. Oh, we got a speaker because this car ain't have like music or nothing like that. So we finally gonna be buzzing that peso pluma. <laughs> That Michael Barragan, like we getting in this stuff. Follow me at TikTok Michael X Angelo. Thank you very much. Hey guys, so we just got back from eating. We had a little refuel break. You know what I mean? Liverpool. I didn't get any makeup from there actually. We just got it from these like two random little tienditas in the mall. This one se llama Bellissima. And the other one was like, I don't know, I forgot. But I got a lot of stuff. As you guys can tell. But I'm sorry. Super sorry guys, but I'm not gonna give you guys a haul right now because I'm actually gonna go back to the mall because I freaking forgot concealer and foundation. But it's cause low-key I was being lazy because it's hard to like color match, you know? Color matching stresses me out. I just like to avoid it. 
because I don't want to get it wrong and like I just bought the wrong damn color and then I don't want to ask anybody to do my because, shade max. Because she doesn't know she's white or Latina. <laughs> You're so funny. You can be white and Latina. Como toda tu familia. Yeah, I just stress and yell, like, I like to dismiss it, but I need to get it done. I low-key feel like I got too much eyebrow stuff. I got this whole eyebrow kit, and I got, like, three other eyebrow things. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad of a bitch do I look right now? Scale 1 to 10? You break the scale. <laughs> you sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> I just say I ate a whole burrito the size of Alexa's head, and oh my god, I'm so full. Can you hug, hug me? I like like all his body weight being on me. Barely anything. Not really heavy. Light work, light work. So I'm about to go by myself. Okay, y'all. So I just arrived to the mall and I'm about to go get my concealer and foundation. It's so embarrassing being a YouTuber and vlogging in public. It's so funny guys because on Facebook there's been times where like influencers will come to Colima like Mexican influencers or Mexican TikTokers They'll be posting it on like the Colima news places on Facebook or whatever and people will hella be gassing them like who the hell are they? They're just trying to come over here and get free stuff like they just be talking mad shit in the comments, so I'm like, bro, this is so embarrassing being an influencer here. Especially when like nobody in Mexico even knows who I am, you know what I mean? They're really like, girl, who the hell are you? <laughs> it's all in my head though, it's all in my head. Anxiety is just in your head, right? I'm procrastinating at this point, let's go. Bag secure. Okay y'all, so I'm finally home here to give you guys the haul. And I'm really excited because I got so many things like that I low-key can't even remember what the hell I got. But I have all the receipts and everything, so I'm gonna put the prices like here, 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 somewhere for y'all so that you guys can just see how much stuff be. Because I know y'all be nosy. Also, I'm planning to do like a full face of makeup, like trying all these products because I got like enough stuff, more than enough stuff for like a full face. But I want to wait till my vanity comes just so I have an area to do it and then also to put all my stuff because I only have like a little makeup bag and it's not going to fit all that. It's already full to the brim. Starting off. This is the last store I went to. So I'm gonna say the, the price in pesos first and then I'll say the US price. First, I got this primer from Bisu. Super excited to use this. Primer para rostro. Que es rostro? Rostro. Dude, it's so hard to say words that are in them. But yeah, I keep saying rostro in all of like the makeup products. I don't know what it means. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something so embarrassing. I'm very open with you guys, so I might as well tell y'all. Oh my God. It means face. Por que no dice cara? Like, why is it being all scientific and stuff? You guys know how I have, like, I have an issue with, like, my face being red right here? And it's called, like, Rochea. So I don't know why I just, like, automatically assumed Rochea with rostro. So I thought, like, it's gonna help my Rochea. I just made an assumption in my head. And I just made, like, a connection from nothing. Now I know it means face and has nothing to do with Rochea. I don't know if you guys get my thinking. I just be guessing words sometimes. Like if I don't know what it is, I'm gonna guess to whatever the closest I think I can get. Anyways, this was 177 pesos, which is around 10 bucks right now because the US dollar is going down, y'all. So this is a matte, super long wear, flawless liquid foundation, base liquida. And it's from a brand, Adara. Adara, something like that, Adara Paris. And this one was 143 pesos, eight, nine bucks. Okay, so then I also got a concealer from the same brand, Adara Paris, 92 pesos, which is like five, six bucks for this concealer. Next, I got these two brushes from that Apple brand that everybody loves so much. I didn't know they had other stuff than like mascara, but they have like eyebrow brushes, Eyeliner, lip liner. They have a whole brand. I didn't know that. I thought it was just mascaras. This one was 29 pesos, which is about a dollar, two dollars. And this one was 33 pesos, which is about two bucks. Ooh, bisu, 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 bisu. A lot of people recommended this brand on my spam when I asked like what brand to get. Y'all did not disappoint because this packaging looks really bomb, and I'm a very much a judge by the cover type of person. Like if the packaging is bomb, it better be bomb. Like I'm always gonna go for the more sophisticated look you know what i mean so this is maquillaje compacto powder foundation let's take a look so this is what it looks like 
So yeah, I think it's powder foundation. There's no sabo Spanish. Like, I don't know any Spanish words for makeup. So this is 107 pesos, which is around six bucks. Okay, next was this eyeshadow palette. I was telling you guys about this influencer that I always see on TikTok. This was 585 pesos, low key a lot, which is around 34 bucks. 34, 35 bucks. Bam. And it's pretty cute. Like, I think for 34 bucks, it's all right. We're gonna try it out and we're gonna see. This will be like 50, 60 bucks in the US. They be taxing over there. Next, I got this gel for eyebrows. Lately, I've really been loving eyebrow gel because it just gets my eyebrows in place slick throughout the whole day. And then I like to give it a little more color. This one was 39 pesos, which is around two bucks, which is really good. And it's from And Cosmetics. I don't know if you guys can see. It says And Cosmetics. All right, we're not even halfway, y'all. Okay, low-key, I didn't want to get this, but I got it anyways because I forgot to put it away. But it's like skin tint. And it's from a brand called Pink Up Cosmetics. Really cute. So I'm excited to try this skin tint because I don't really like a lot of full coverage, especially in this damn heat. So this is 159 pesos, which equals to about five bucks. I'm liking these prices. I'll definitely be back. Like if this stuff is good, this is going to be my go-to makeup. Like you'll never catch me at Sephora again. Okay, guys. Now this is some fun, a rare sight. It's literally like a needle, but it's a lip plumping gloss from this brand called Beauty Creations. A lot of people also recommended Beauty Creations, so I'm really excited to try this. But yeah, it's a lip plumper, and it looks like a needle, like dead as a needle. Dang it, I didn't get the price for this, because I got that from the first store, so I'll do all those prices together. So this was a little weird, and this is why I got it, because I've never seen nothing like this. I got it from that one brand, Adara Paris, and it's an eyelash curler, but I don't know if you guys can tell. It's small. Like, it's not a big eyelash curler for all your eyelashes. Like, I think it only gets specific parts. It says mini eyelash curler. I've never seen nothing like this before. So I'm gonna try to put it on like my outer lashes so like I get that cat eye effect. We're gonna try this out. But this was 58 pesos, which is around three to four bucks. Bisu, 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 bisu. Once again, I love their packaging. It's really giving like this should be in Sephora. So this is powder, like setting powder for your face. I'm really excited to use this. Sorry guys, I'm just so famous. Got my phone blowing up. We're gonna see how this works in the Colima heat. We're gonna see if it's yay or nay. Okay, this is 101 pesos, which is around six bucks. Once again, the Holy Grail Bisu. And these are some blushes. I'm really excited for these. One is a light pink and one's like a more hot pink, I guess you would say. But these were each 54 pesos, around six bucks for both of these. Really good, all together. Next, I got like this contour palette. Super excited because I've never had a contour palette before. And this just looks so, like, I can't get over the packaging. It looks really good, modern. I feel like I'm gonna have very good results, hopefully. So this was 125 pesos, which is around 17, 18 bucks. Damn, my low key spent a lot. Damn, I was just putting stuff in. Like, I wanted to try everything. Because like, I've never been like a makeup girl, especially over there in the US, because makeup is just crazy expensive and I don't want to spend money on stuff that I don't know if I'm gonna like, you know what I mean? So let's hope I like all this. So then I got some matte finish spray from this brand called Lure, Lure, exactly what I needed. I actually don't have any finish spray. Is it called finish spray? It's called something else, huh? It's called setting spray, not finish spray. Well, what the hell, it's called setting spray. Anyway, so this was, where's the price, where's the price? Dang it, I'll find it for you guys. I won't leave you guys hanging. Look at this damn receipt. It looks like a book. I think I got it from the other store, so we're gonna put it in the other store pile so I can do, give you guys that full price. Okay, next I got me some lip liners. I love my lip liners, and if these are bomb, this is gonna be my place forever. And did it just get dark around me or am I tripping? Anyway, so I got these lip liners. They're from this brand, Italia. And this is also another brand that people recommended me, so I'm really excited to use these. I got three. I got like my red brown shades that I always use. This is my shades, bro. And I really hope I like these and they stay on good because this is gonna be my forever spot. Because it's so hard to find like good lip liners nowadays. So these were 16 pesos each, which is around a dollar, like a dollar and a half around there. Bam, so these were like three bucks, three, four bucks for all of them. Okay, okay, I know you guys are waiting for this one because this is like everybody's favorite Mexican brand. Apple Mascara Manzana brand. Everybody swears this is so good. We're gonna give it another try. This one is Mami? Ki? Mame? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know if you guys can see down there, it says like the name. I think that's the name. So we're gonna try this one, and then we're also gonna try this one, this blue one, Azul. Duh. Is that the name or like they just saying colors? I'm confused, or am I just slow? So these were 32 pesos each, around two bucks, two bucks each. Next I got this little lip gloss lipstick type thing in like this red color and I just wanted to try it because I love having lip products. Lip products are my 
But this is also 32 pesos, which is around two bucks. And it has a little heart at the top. <laughs> this video is gonna be so long, guys. I'm sorry. I bought way too much. What kind of printer is this? This is so freaking small. Dude, how am I gonna read that? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the first store. I know you guys think I'm done, but like, I'm not done. Like, I low key went a little too crazy. I was really excited for this vid, especially because I never go makeup shopping. Okay, so I got these two mascaras. One is aguacate. Cute. I just love like things that are of avoca avocados. <laughs> of avocados, like avocados. Avocados are just so freaking cute. I love green too. Oh, this is like a, I don't know what the hell this is. I swear Mexico be having some like random ass fruits and vegetables that I've never heard of. So I got these two, really excited. But I think they were around 45 pesos each. So around three bucks each. Damn, this one's low key expensive. Nah, but kinda low key, nah. Cause like this little bra powder be like 45 bucks like itself from Anastasia. You guys remember when everyone was obsessed with Anastasia for the brow gel? That was me, guys. I got this Beauty Creations Brow Definer Essential Set, really cute. Anyway, so this was 429 pesos for this, which is around 25 bucks. Okay, next, this Limp Plumper that I was telling you guys about, it's 179 pesos, which is about approximately 10 to 11 bucks. That is pretty damn good. The Lip Plumper that I use from Too Faced, Y'all know this costs an arm and a damn leg and it don't even last that long, bro. I literally got this in Florida. And I don't know if you guys can tell, it's already like halfway gone. For like $400 million. What? Okay, so next I got this tinted eyebrow stuff from NYX. I'm telling you guys, I got way too much eyebrow stuff. Like, I don't know why. Like, I'm not even an eyebrow girl like that. And this was 259 pesos, which is around 15 bucks. Ooh, another primer stick. I'm really excited for this primer stick because I hate like rubbing stuff in my face and then my fingers get dirty and then I gotta go up, wash my hands, come back, do my makeup. Like it's a whole process. Anyway, so this is from Beauty Creations and it was 169 pesos, around 10 bucks. Okay, next guys, I got this cute little eyeshadow palette. It's an aguacate. <laughs> they had a big one, but I didn't like the colors. Like they have a lot of bright green colors and stuff and like, and a lot of glittery colors and I don't feel like that's really my vibe but this is just so freaking cute like I had to get it I had to get it so this was 249 pesos which is about 14 to 15 US dollars here are, are y'all still with me are y'all still with me I know this is a little crazy oh my god there's so many damn receipts right in this off on my taxes thank you very much so i'll see you guys when I do my makeup in my vanity I'm really excited um if I can't do my vanity I guess we're just gonna have to sit on the damn floor and do it Back to my roots. So I'll see you guys then. Love ya. Hello. All right, guys, I'm back and it's time. It's time to put the makeup to the test. <sighs> Let me get all prepared. Uh, my vanity still hasn't came in. <gasps> yeah, my vanity was supposed to come the same time my other furniture came and it didn't because like it got damaged. I don't know how. My boyfriend called them and they're like, we'll um, message you guys two days before it comes. Why can't you tell me when it's gonna come? Like, give me an estimate, at least. Like, I'm trying to film a YouTube video. Damn forehead is shining. <laughs> I'm just so excited to have a vanity. Like, this is really ghetto right now. Look at me, guys. I'm in a gamer chair. Like, be so for real. I want my cute little fuzzy chair. And I know, gamer damn chair. Let me just show you guys what we're working with. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a honey with y'all. I did open some stuff and try some stuff. <laughs> Like, I couldn't stop myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The temptation was too strong. Like, I was just too excited for my new stuff. You know what I mean? I have my little mirror. This is all we're gonna work with, I guess. Let me, like, organize all this real fast, actually, and I'll be back in, like, 0.2 seconds. And while I'm gone, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. It helps the algorithm, guys. Like, I'm trying to get all my James Charles stuff. Like, get me up there. We have a lot going on. But we're gonna start off with primer. I have two primers. This one from Beauty Creations, and then I have this one from Bisu. Which one should I use, guys? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I actually used this the other day. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use this one, and maybe another video, I'm gonna use that. You know what, I should've got like one of each product instead of getting like a lot of every product, because like, how am I gonna use all of this? So this is how it comes out. Not me being a guru. Ooh. Okay, I like how it feels. It feels very smooth. It feels like low-key the same consistency as this one. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, kind of slippery. Damn, the forehead is really scary. Let's back up. But it's, like, really soft. Ooh. And, like, glides on really easily. Which is really different from the primer that I use. I use the e.l.f. primer, and it's, like, white. I think it's a matte one. I believe this one is also matte. 
Actually, I don't know. It doesn't say it. <laughs> I need to go on like a scavenger hunt to find what makeup keeps my mustache makeup on. Because, bro, it's always the first thing to go. And like my whole face will stay on except for this. Because it's always the first thing to sweat. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but it gets like when I get hot and sweaty, it gets like white. Like, like just a little white mustache. Okay, so next. Okay, so I have these two things for foundation. This one isn't really foundation though, it's more of a skin tint. But I think we're gonna go with the foundation today. Super long wear matte. Ooh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I never usually use foundation, like I just use concealer to be honest. So we're gonna try this another day. Sorry pink up, but Adara Paris, I think it has a better rip. Sorry. Should I go in with this brush guys, or should I go in with a beauty blender? <sighs> How did the beauty gurus do it bro? Like I'm really messing up already, it's my first day out here. Wait, we're just gonna go like this. Woo! I feel like I'm putting too much because I feel like this is like a lot. You know what I mean? I put a smiley face. Wait, can you guys see it in this big ass dome? I put a smiley face, guys. Okay, yeah, I think. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, first of all, this is not my damn color, bro. But we have concealer to fix that. Oh my god, I'm scared. Maybe I should have went section by section. I feel like it's oxidizing really fast and it's drying up really fast. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is a damn mess. We're gonna go on with this brush to try to salvage. We're like starting off on a really bad note. If it looks really bad, I'm gonna go in with the skin tint. This is why I always avoid getting new foundations because this is why I just don't get foundations because the skin, the color match, bro. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, like the texture doesn't look bad. It's just like not my color, <laughs> but like it's not patchy nowhere and it looks pretty soft, like, okay. We're not gonna give up on you yet. Why is my mustache already sweating off? I literally have two ACs on me. Work with me here. So I think this is very full coverage and it like dried super fast. It's definitely not like a liquidy one. Okay, I think I'm gonna just use a lot of concealer because this concealer I think is like pretty light. So it might work out. Damn, I'm scared to like just go in. Can you guys see I'm crying because I look a damn mess. Whoa! See, I told you guys it was really light. So it might just bring me to my shade. And I don't like a lot of concealer. I never use a lot of concealer. But like I love when girls have like lighter right here. And it like really brightens up the face. You guys know what look I'm talking about? Like especially on like black girls. It looks so good. Like where it looks like lighter right here. The concealer. It looks so bomb. So hopefully I salvage this makeup. Maybe I can use this shade like when I get tan. Like I've been wanting to tan, but it's too damn hot, bro. Like it's way too damn hot. Like it's literally not even tanning. It's just burning alive. I need to go to the beach. Need to go to the beach. Each let's get away. Eh eh. What you gonna say? Have a drink. Drink. Found a bud like bad bit like me. No, 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 like I hate, it's a love and hate relationship now that I have an editor because I record so much all the time now that like I don't remember what I be saying in my videos. Like I don't remember nothing. So I find out like the day she sends me the video and I'm like, bro, why are you acting a damn mess in that damn video? It's just me. It's just how I am. Sorry for using the British accent. I'm sorry, editor. Sorry, Caitlin. I think my ancestors from my mom's side are from Britain. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm pretty damn sure. So like I get a pass. Okay, so next, I'm gonna put some on my forehead and right here. And then, like, I think it's cool. Like, the foundation mess up, not even that bad because this concealer just completely evens it out. And I look like a bad bitch. It's giving full coverage. Mexican makeup, I'm messing with it so far. These are Mexican, Mexican brands. Like, straight de Mexico. I did get one NYX product, but we're not gonna use that because, girl, you from Gringolandia. Yeah. We're not choosing you. Ooh! This is so cute. Like, I feel like it's giving 2000s modern. You guys get the vibe I'm saying? Or like, you guys just don't understand me? Like, let me know. So this is like a contour palette. I think I'm gonna do this. <gasps> That's a little red. Okay, let's mix the brown in. I look like I just got dragged and beat up. Bruh. Okay, so I'm just going with the darkest brown. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I feel like I'm the worst person to do this video because, girl, you know damn well you don't know how to do no damn makeup. Kurt, right here. Double chin who? Ooh! Okay, I messed with the powders. I'm messing with the contour kit. I think it blends really good. Dude, like, this is actually really bomb. This makeup is so bomb. Snatched. I feel like you guys are laughing at me behind the screen right now. So will somebody please assure me right now that I look okay? Please. Or, like, let me know some tips and tricks like some good makeup tips or like 
some critiques for me because i'll be honest like i just be doing stuff but i feel like that's what makeup's about you know what i mean but since i have like a very round face and my face is like pretty chubby too there's specific places that you put makeup to make your face look more lifted or make it look more round and stuff you know what i mean so you guys let me know like i look good but it doesn't match my neck double chin check do we look good ladies i think so there's this white shade and i, I what is it for Hmm, I don't know. Is it used for like translucent powder? <laughs> okay. I have these two brushes from Apple. So this is a blending brush and shading brush. I'm gonna use one of these. Oh, I'm gonna use this to do my eyeshadow. Bomb, but then I have some eyeshadow palettes. Dang. I shouldn't have bought so much stuff. But I'm gonna put some right here. Some of that brown contour because it makes your lips look bigger, babes. Let me put you guys on some of my secret tips, okay? You guys see that? Yeah. Kylie lip kit who? Lip fillers where? Okay guys, so should I use this palette? Or should I use this palette? And this one, like, I low-key just got it because it was cute. Like, I'm gonna be so honest. Because wait till you guys see these colors. I think I'm gonna give this to my little sister. Not even my little sisters would wear this, I don't think. Glitter is out, Mexico. Like, get, get with times. I don't know anybody who uses glitter no more. If you use glitter, like, don't be offended. Like, don't be offended. Like, it's just, you're different. You know, you're unique. I love that about you. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to put this shade Veracruz. Right here, Veracruz. All over my lid. Let me be the guru. <laughs> Does that look right to you guys? I just want some like depth in there. You know what I mean? But like not too much. Like I don't want to go crazy. Like kind of like a smoky eye. But like really smoked. And like without the black. I'm gonna go in with Ooh, Chismosa. I love these names. I'm gonna read it to you guys. Chismosa Live. Ron. Ron? Or Ron? Like Ron? Like the drink? Yeah, you guys see. Veracruz. Podras. Maquinon. Hari. Brat. Hamas. Guanga. Guanga? Am I saying that right? What the hell is a Guanga? Turbio. Hangover. Or Turbio. I'm not, I don't know if I'm messing with the Spanglish. Sky. Sagittarius. Jarocha. What does that mean? Y'all let me know in the comments. Y tequila bomb. I'm gonna go on with chismosa, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but like, I cannot speak Spanglish. Like, it has to be one or the other. Like, I can't, like, change it mid-sentence. And like, my people who speak Spanglish know what I'm talking about, but like, I cannot do it for the life of me. Like, I can't even speak one language correctly. Like, how am I gonna interchange and like, keep the pace going? You know what I mean? Way too much multitasking for me. I'm gonna blend it out. Do I look like a bad Yes. I feel like I should be paying more attention. Like, I'm literally going blind into this. Both eyes closed. Like, I don't think that's right. Mm, I think that's enough. We're not going to go too crazy. I think I'm going to use her tequila or maquinon for highlight. I never use highlight. And I didn't buy any highlighter either because I just know I don't use it. Okay, I'm going to put some blush. I got these two blushes from Bisu. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this light pink because this is a really dark. Ooh, it's powder. Damn, do I have a powder brush? <gasps> no, me you guys. Okay, we're gonna go on with this and see how it looks. I've never like done powder blush. Am I supposed to smile or something? <gasps> the color. Wait, this is so pretty. Do I look like a clown or a bad bitch? Y'all let me know. Or a brat doll. Ooh, I really like this color. Wait. Bizu, you ate. I feel like such a brat doll. I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna dab it in with this because I feel like it's a little, it's a little strong. Cute. I'm gonna go in with a bit more concealer. This is like my first ever full coverage makeup and it's looking pretty damn good. So I think that looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna use this brow set from Beauty Creations, but we're gonna be real fast now. It comes with this setting gel. Okay, bomb. Whoa, that looks a little weird. Brow definer here. Dude, why is everything so teeny tiny? And a brush. Nice because I don't even have a brush. And then I got this little brush too. Cute. And I think this is some pomade. Dark brown. Let's do the reveal. Okay, so I think I'm going to try this. I'm not going to be the little sissy lala and go the easy route. No, we're trying new things in this video. If you guys didn't notice. Y'all remember my last get ready with me chit chat video for the wedding? And I tried to do my eyebrows, bro. And I almost had like a panic anxiety meltdown. Let's see if this is up to my standards. Because as a lot of you guys know, I was a proud Anastasia 2016 brow pomade user. I think it was 2016. 
Y'all know the 2016 brows, exactly what I'm talking about. Those are my pride and joy, okay? I used to spend like 20 minutes on my eyebrows. Whoa, does it look darker already or am I tripping? Like, I can never tell. And then it gets like so dark where I'm like, damn, bro. Now you look a damn mess. But I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm done with this so my camera doesn't die, okay? Okay, y'all, so I finished the brows. I don't know if there's really much of a difference. And I also put a little bit of concealer under this same concealer. This concealer is bomb. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm gonna be definitely back in the store for this. Now I'm gonna try the setting stuff. Kinda scared cause this brush. Yeah, now if you mess up my hard work, I'm gonna be up in that store doing nothing cause I have social anxiety. Okay, not too bad. It's a bit odd, but I can work with it. Wait, I look he like this brush a lot. What's next? I need to hurry up and get it together. Ooh, powder. I have powder from Bisu. I also have compact powder. This one looks a bit dark though, not gonna lie. So we're just gonna go in with this one and then like, I would probably use that one just to touch it up because I think it's foundation powder. You guys get my drift. I'm actually use this setting powder brush. Bomb, let's go in. I used to have really bad oily skin back in high school. I was so like insecure about it. You guys know those little blue like oiling pads? Dude, I would go like literally take oiling breaks in the bathroom and like dab on my face and it would be full with oil. <laughs> so we're done with that. I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna dab it in with my beauty blender. Oh, while we're waiting, I'm gonna try this plump. I know y'all been waiting to see this. It's very interesting, very interesting, creative. It's literally a needle. What? How in the hell? Am I tripping? Do I really take this off? Oh my god, I do. There we go. Let's put it on. Y'all, why is it already? Ah, just kidding. If I could see your guys' faces, like, y'all are so gullible. So I use the extreme lip plumper. So I'm gonna tell you guys, the, like, how it feels difference-wise. Like, which one stings more? Because I feel like if it hurts more, like, it's doing more of the job. You know what I mean? It's starting to sting right now, but it's, like, tolerable. This is before. Okay, so now I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to use, like, this little weird wand that I got. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I already used it. I already used it. I was very curious. And I kind of like how it came out. I just used it for the ends. But now I'm going to use it for, like, end to middle. Look at this. Like, what is this for? Can you guys see the curl? Yes or no? My eyelashes are little as hell. It definitely does curl it way better than an eyelash curler. Ow, it kind of hurts though. So I'm just going to do like middle to the end. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, so it's starting to burn more my lips, but it's like a different feeling. It's not the same burning as the lip injections. I got a lot of mascara options. I don't know why I got this much. This is not even it. I have two more. These ones were from Farmacia Guadalajara. So... I don't think those will be as good as these ones, but I think I'm gonna try the apple ones, the ones that everybody loves. You know what? I'm gonna do one one eye, one the other eye, cause I swear I used one of these and I didn't like it. But we're gonna give it another try. So going on with this one, see how it looks. Whoa, this brush is big. So that's first coat. I might just do like two coats. Um, it actually looks pretty cute. But like the fallout is not that good. And I don't like this big ass brush because I got little eyes. Eye number one with this one. And now trying the blue one. Let's see the wand. Oh, it's literally the same. I think I'm just slow, honestly. This is literally blue mascara. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the brightest on YouTube, am I? <laughs> so I'm going to use the same one, actually. Tricked you guys. Prank. Okay, y'all. So this is the final look. Um, I did some lip liner from the brand Italia. I really like how it came out. And then I just put the lip injection on top. And I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't really like this mascara. Like, the fallout was low-key crazy. Like, it messed up my hard work of my eyeshadow. <sighs> but it's not that bad. But, like, my telescopic mascara would never do this to me. I feel like it's a little better. But anyways. So, overall, guys. Let's give the face, like, a... Give it a moment, give it a moment. I think the base and everything looks so good. I don't like a lot of makeup because I don't like stuff to look cakey. And I feel like this does not look cakey. I feel like it's giving natural Maddie. Yes or no? And also, overall, the brand Bisu. That door literally just opened by itself. Overall, the brand Bisu and Alara Paris. Bomb. I would definitely be going back and that's probably my new makeup brand like I'm gonna be honest The only thing that sucks is like the skin tone range is like so ass like it's so bad They have like five shades of everything but like it kind of works out I mean like damn the foundation didn't match and the concealer didn't match but then it came together to make a match So when life gives you lemons you make lemonade 
Period. My camera's about to die, so this outro is gonna be real short. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I had so much fun, and I was just so happy I got to buy some new makeup. <laughs> Let me know any video ideas you guys want to see, because I'm down to try anything. Like I'm in a new era of my life where I want to do new things. You know what I mean? Like I'm 20 years old. It's time to get the hell out the house and go live life. So I'll bring you guys along with me, and I'll see you guys twice a week. Be there or be square. Mm -hmm.